who better than to talk about this? I mean, this state is so special, and there's so many things, basketball and auto racing, and it comes together, and what 100 days we're going to have. It's going to be the best, Eddie. You know, uh, I saw my first race in 1963. Parnelli Jones was the champ, and uh, Indy has been part of my life, and if you're a Hoosier, man, this is, you know, this is the best, and as I expressed to Alice Melanchthon when they deliver the milk, I hope we have another one of those unbelievable Pacers Racers weekend. It couldn't be better uh, uh, if it, it turns out that way, so uh, and hopefully we'll all be drinking some victory milk and some victory champagne. That'll, that'll work, wouldn't it? The mo- absolutely. The month of May is, is always so special here. And uh, I can remember that years and years ago when we first started having the Pacers and the Racers and there were T-shirts with this guy in, a, in an Indy car and the people were alive, the city was alive. There's no other city that can do this. No, I mean, yeah, those, those weekends are just... I, the, the the electricity you felt you know you go to the race and then you had a basketball game I mean it was the it was the best and so uh, again that would that would be the ultimate happening but even you know even if it doesn't we're going to have a great 100th running in the Indianapolis 500 we're coming up on our 50th uh, season for the Indiana Pacers uh, so we're we're uh, addressing a lot of really neat numbers uh, and really underscores the history. Uh, and the foundation of, of two great franchises, one being the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the other being uh, the Indiana Pacers. And this guy, you know, you don't speak, but we communicate with this kinetic type thing here. You've always told the kids, this stuff's important. They need to drink a lot of that, right? There you go. You get a boomer, boomer and bill in any car. 100 days. So great to have them here.